Hey ladies, it's your girl Hypnotic Lady. You see this look, y'all. This hairstyle has been all over YouTube. So if you guys want to see how I got this look, please stay tuned. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. Mwah. Jumping right in, I'm working with the one and only OMG Her Hair. Of course, they sent me a silk drawstring bag, a wig cap, of course, an adjustable elastic band. I also got a edge control brush, some wig clips, and a wax stick. Y'all, they come clutch with the care package, okay? You don't need nothing. Now, this is the unit. This is the Relaxed Yaki 13 by 6 HD Lace Wig. It is 18 inches and 150 density as you guys i was just showing you the combs and adjustable straps get into that lace honey these units come pre-bleached pre-plugged don't have to do nothing to them now i'm just going in with my erica j um adhesive hold me down adhesive and i'm going to do two to three thin layers using my um songbird blow dryer in between you want to use it until it dries clear you guys see that it goes on white as you see throughout the rest of the process as you see that little clear finish clear film that's what you want it to look like that's when you know your adhesive is ready to go it's dry it's tacky it's ready to be laid down so i'm going to do this about um one more time and then i'm going to hit it with my songbird blow dryer and then i'm just going to gently press that lace in using my fingers and my rat tail comb i'm also going to use my blow dryer to blow the lace into the adhesive if that makes sense i kind of want it all to melt together so here you guys see me um just giving the last little blow to the adhesive itself making sure everything is nice and dry once that's done i am going to take my blow dryer again with my songbird blow dryer and my rat tail comb and as you guys can see i'm just combing the hair while i'm blow drying it because i want to kind of melt that lace extra good so i'm combing the lace into the adhesive now i'm going to go in and define my middle part um this unit did come pre-styled in the middle bar middle part already so i just kept it there now i'm just going to take my omg hair wax stick and i'm just going to run that all through the part get it nice and slick now i'm going to take my con air hot comb and i have it set on 425 and i'm going to get this nice and flat you want it nice and flat you hear me okay when you get it flat that's when it looks like your hair and especially with this hairstyle that i've been seeing trending everywhere you need this to be flat if your wig is looking like a helmet or looking like a damn hat on your head it's not gonna give so you see how one side is super sleek nice and flat like i'm gonna show you guys hold on you see look at that you see the difference you see the difference that hot comb made so make sure y'all use your hot comb hot comb is your best friend once you get through hot combing i'm going to go in and start parting out how i'm going to do the half up half down middle part style i don't really know what to call it but i just know i'm going to pull out these little edges my little sideburns and then um i'm pulling out these two little strings in the front i didn't really want baby hairs but i wanted like some little hair in the front i guess if that makes sense um they're just going to be long little stray hairs i did two by my temple area and then two uh by my sideburn and i'm just going to lightly bump those like so but you get the idea now to do my bust down part half up half down i'm parting directly behind my ear with my rat tail comb you guys are gonna see what i'm talking about in just a second as you guys can see i'm just parting directly behind my ear and you're gonna get a straight line and then i'm just going to pin that excess hair away with the clip that omg hair provided for me and then i'm going to do the same step on the other side once i get everything parted i'm going to run my hot comb through the back make sure everything's nice and sleek because this is going to be your ponytail part once you get that nice and slick back tile, you like it, you want to go ahead and get ready to mold your hair into the pony. I'm going to use just a regular black rubber band, and I'm going to tie those two strips of hair to the back of my hair, or back of my head, if that makes sense. It's going to be underneath. You won't see it. It'll be completely covered by the wigs, but just make sure it's nice and tight so your hair doesn't move in the front. 
Once we get that secure, I'm going to go in with another set of rubber bands and I'm going to part um, a small little section from the back of the wig. Make sure none of your tracks are showing. And then you are going to put that back half into a ponytail. Once I get that ponytail nice and slick and laid down how I like it, you may get straight hairs in the back, it's okay. This ain't gotta be perfect. This is supposed to be like a messy, sleek look, so it'll work. Now I'm just going to tie off my rubber bands and make sure everything's nice and good. I was trying to get like a little idea of how I wanted it. I took that out and now I'm gonna go in with my Kaposi mini straightener and now I'm just giving the little bump to the stray hairs that I left out. As you guys can see, they're not necessarily baby hairs, but they are just some little stray hairs left out. It was really cute. It gave me, you know, 90s, early 2000s feel, and that's the look that I was going for. Um, once I get those nice and bumped to my liking, I am going to go in with this scrunchy clip. And I got this scrunchy clip from my local Walgreens. I think it was about five or six bucks. I can't remember exactly. Oh, I'm also going to go in with this duo powder and I'm using the lightest shade and I'm just popping that in to define my part, making it look more scalp-like. Ow. Now I'm going to take this scrunchy wig clip or hair clip, sorry, and it's like the claw clip and then you just want to basically flip your ponytail up and put the claw in place. And this is what it's going to look like. Y'all, I'm so in love with this hairstyle. Like... I ain't never seen a hairstyle get played out so fast. I've seen everybody and a mama with this hairstyle, you hear me? But it gives life. I tried it in the curly and it busts in the straight too. Like, I, it eats with the bust down straight. I love it. Again, this is OMG Her Hair. This is the Relaxed Yaki Unit. Definitely recommend the hair texture for my brown sisters. Mimics your hair realistically. I kept getting compliments all day. People were asking me, is this a blowout? And who did your silk press? Girl, this is all me. This is all like, what? But this is a wig. Okay, get into that lace. Scalp, baby. This is nothing but scalp. Ate it down, up close and personal. Y'all already know how I do. I like to show y'all. No filter, no nothing. This is what the lace is giving. And we didn't do no baby hairs, sleek back, pull back hairstyle. Like, it was definitely giving. I ate this one up. The girls are going to love it, okay? I hope y'all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed making it. I'm getting more creative and just trying to, you know, step out the box with this hair stuff. I did buy a new camera, so you guys will be seeing me, hopefully with some better quality content. I will be coming with some makeup tutorials very, very soon. I've been getting comments left and right. So y'all just let me know what y'all want to see. But overall, 10 out of 10, definitely recommend this for beginners. Um, this wigs come pre-plucked, pre-bleached, pre-styled. You have to do nothing to them at all. Um, you do your little ball cap, and you don't even have to do a ball cap if you don't want to. That's really optional. But do your ball cap, and you are ready to go, sis. Definitely recommend. Again, I hope you enjoyed this video. Please don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. We are almost at 130K. I will be doing a wig giveaway, y'all. So don't forget, hit that bell, and I will see y'all later. Bye. Mwah.